Day number two is upon us here, the round of 32. Let's get into it. Allen versus Turbo Jeff. Here's a kickoff course going out the back. But yeah, once again about Turbo Jeff, you know, interesting story with him coming from representing the Broncos right here. No longer having to worry about Drinny, who's, of course, playing for the <laughs> Cowboys now. We'll see him later on today. Yep, yep. He's actually a big Patriots fan. He still chose to represent the Denver Broncos, so he'll look to, you know, do the Patriot way, win, advance, and if he goes all the way, he can watch his Pat in the Super Bowl. Right now, it's all about the Denver Broncos. Now, in preparation, as we see the players, of course, going through the substitutions early on, in preparation for this game, something that you had noticed specifically about Turbo Jeff's roster, his secondary, it's all about speed, baby. I talked to Turbo Jeff before the game, and he told me that he focused on fast secondary players. So you'll see he has Kyle Fuller, he has Jer Alexander, he has Deion Sanders. He is not looking to give up the deep bomb. Allen from his own 25. Of course, Vic has the quarterback hand up to Howard up the middle. Going to start with a run game and gets a gain of about seven or so. Starting strong with that run. Of course. We talk about Allen's high power bunch offense. Everybody's looking to see that. And he starts off with a simple run with Jordan Howard. Of course, uh, Problem giving him hype on the defensive side there with that pick six as, six, as he mentioned in his matchup against him. So we'll see if that defense comes into play. A lot of pressure. Shotgun pressure indeed. Sharp taking the pass though. Bounces off one and gets down to the 42. That's a first down. Early on, Jeff looking to stack that box. And Turbo Jeff considers himself a defense first player. So it's going to be quite the matchup for him. If he can beat Allen, then his defense is for real. First first down of the game. Looking to have plenty more, of course. Roll out to the left. Trying to get away from the pressure. Maybe gets a gain of a couple. We're going to see plenty of that. Of course, Michael Vick brings that speed himself. Of course, the Michael Vick experience. We saw a lot of this yesterday. And it's a cat and mouse game of how much do you let Michael Vick roll out the pocket and get these gains of four or five yards before you put out a quarterback spy on the field. Now, it seems like the obvious decision. Yeah, put out a quarterback spy on Michael Vick. But that means you have one less pass rusher or a guy in coverage. How many, how many players do you expect to see rushing for Turbo Jeff when it comes to his defense here? We will, we will see. It looks like right now he's coming out in some nickel G. Early on, he's sending a lot of pressure, but if Allen starts hitting quick dot, quick dot, quick dot, then he'll have to adjust. Timeout taken right there for, we got Turbo Jeff. He's already down to one timeout, in <laughs> fact. That's, uh... Hey, you don't get to keep those timeouts in the first half, so do what you got to do. Get your business in and try ball out. A shotgun once again. Of course, rolling out to the left. Has an open man, but it's going to be hit first. I believe we're going to say it's an incomplete pass, so third and four coming up here for Allen. Man, at, right now, Jeff is sending that pressure, and it's it, Allen's a little bit shaky right now. We've been hyping him so much, but remember, he is only 16 years old, the youngest player in the field out of La Mesa, California, on the big stage for the first time. And going deep, Jones with the reception. That's a big first down. So talking about playing under the pressure, well, he came through right there, Cook. Third down and four, big plays. Big time players make big time plays, and Julio Jones down the sidelines, both feet in bounds. I really think that's important though. Again, 16 years old, you gotta wonder if that's if that's a good or a bad thing as far as that pressure is concerned. But right now, in a good spot, of course. Once again, shotgun has the ball, looking right, looking to the end zone. Randy Moe, oh, no. oh, it's gonna be picked off instead and takes the knee immediately. Well, got to him right there. And that's the interception brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. He does Snickers. Oh, boy. We saw a lot of Randy Moss high point throws to the end zone. Aggressive catch come down with it. So what's the risk to that? If he does not come down with that catch, that ball is up in the air, and any player is free to get it. And as you guys saw right there, Turbo Jeff's defensive player, ready for that. You can't blame him, though, right? We've seen plenty of Randy Moss one-handed receptions <laughs> in the end zone and three defense. You know, it's it's been plenty of that, but... Not paying off right there, unfortunately. So Turbo Jeff, he said he's a defensive player, came through. Now let's see what his offense is all about. Feeling good about that one, showing some reaction. You know, the voice in the background gets his first down. So you mentioned he's about that defense, but what do you expect from the offensive side here for Turbo Jeff? Turbo Jeff said that he is a ball control player. So we might see a lot of underneath routes, a lot of drags, a lot of flat routes, a couple of runs here and there. He's going to try to chew clock and take control of time of possession. Obviously using Vic as well. He's looking deep to the left. Julio Jones tiptoe and makes the reception. Big first down and once again reaction there. Just like how Allen had Julio Jones toe tap swag. Jeff using the same Julio Jones, the same result. 
looking locked in right now. He is not afraid of Allen at all. Not hoping for the same result in the end, though. Looking to score, of course, as now he's standing just beyond the 40-yard line in Allen's territory. Oh, he's got him. He's got man to the right. That's Shannon Sharp, and well, let's, we'll call that almost a loss, I want to say. Not getting much out of that, unfortunately. I'll tell you what. The post route in the middle opened up. We'll see a Turbo Jeff goes back to that. Allen's user defender kind of got fooled right there. So now Allen, he saw that as well. Allen will try to make that adjustment. And so far, Allen's he's trying to get a pass rush in here. It's not really coming at Turbo Jeff. Yeah, I don't think you're worried about giving up a pass to a, in the flat there to Shannon Sharp. You, you'll take that if you're Allen. So again, second and 10, just beyond that 40-yard line. Quick step back, has pressure in the face, though. He was looking downfield, unfortunately, unable to move in. That's a sack. Jason Taylor coming in, and Allen's sending a couple guys in here. Turbo Jeff, he has a lot of long developing routes, and the problem with that is that it's taking too long. Now it's third down and 20 because he got sacked, and now you just got to take your shot downfield. Yeah, third and 20. That's, that's a lot of yards to go, and he's not going to get many, if any, in fact, hit as soon as he catches. So that's going to be fourth and 20 now. We're seeing a lot of players go for the fourth down. I expect no different here. Hmm, fourth down and 20, <laughs> though. If there's ever a time to punt the ball, this would be it. But we know how these competitive, play, competitive players play Madden. We are probably going to see the offense on the field. I don't think these guys really know what a punter is. <laughs> it's, uh, not much uh, not much action seen from said punters, if they even exist. So fourth and 20 indeed. Turbo Jeff clearly going for it. Has motion to the right. A lot of times you'll see a smart routed in route. Oh, almost picked up, almost caught then, but neither one will happen, and instead it's going to be a turnover. You know, that's one of those cases if you're Allen, you're happy the ball wasn't caught. And you saw it said user swat. That was Allen being heads up, knowing fourth down and 20. Let's swat this ball down. Maybe we can get a pick six, but it's way smarter to swat the ball down, and you get better field position by swatting it rather than intercepting it. That's got to feel so good for Allen, of course, again, being the young player here, throwing the interception in the end zone on his first offensive drive. Gets a big stop, and now he's already at midfield, first and 10. Both of these guys on the big stage for the first time, both showing a little bit of nerves. And crossing over the middle, he wants deep throw to Randy Moss. That one-handed catch we're talking about, but was that caught? No. It looks like it wasn't. Yeah, just out of bounds. Caught, but not both feet in bounds. And it's a tight window right there. You need the perfect throw to make that happen. So Allen, he'll work on his timing. And I expect him to come back to that soon. Second down and 10 now. Pressure in his face, having to just throw it away. And that'll be the case. The scramble game, of course, on point for Michael Vick. Everybody's got Michael Vick, but the one thing that can neutralize the speed of Michael Vick is a good pass rush, as you guys saw right there. Allen was pretty fortunate that wasn't intentional grounding. Yeah, I was actually wondering that myself. I almost expected to see the flag come out right there. That must have just, just been outside. Looked like he had Andre Roberts in the area there. So he, he got away with that. Yeah. Third down and 10 upcoming. That's that bunch formation. Seen plenty of that, of course, to the left in this case. Vic, he's rolling out to the right, though. Not the easiest, and again, the pressure is there. I believe it's going to be considered an incomplete pass, but timeout called after the fact as well. Looks like he is going for it, though. No surprise. Jeff is... <laughs> he is not afraid. Everybody's been talking about Allen having this high-powered bunch offense, and here is Jeff taking away every single option. There was nothing open on that play, and the pass rush came through. Secondary moving up, showing blitz here. Going to go with the audible, sends the bunch to the right-hand side. Howard in the backfield with Vic, and he's going to end up calling a timeout. So Allen clearly not liking what he saw there. Smart timeout, smart timeout. Once again, you don't get to keep those timeouts going into the locker room. This is a big play here. Fourth down and 10. Make sure you come out in the play you are most comfortable with because you turn it over here, you give Jeff great field position. He's already, what, 15 yards away from field goal range. Yeah. We'll see that's a turbo Jeff completely out of timeouts now in the remaining of the half. Still 2 203 to go in the first quarter at this point. Still 0 0 ball game, of course. Allen, fourth and 10, needs it here. It's going to be batted down, however, and that'll be a turnover on down. So doesn't move anywhere. Allen said that was a touchdown, and it might have been. Randy Moss, remember I told you, he might come back to that Randy Moss route. That's exactly what he did. Randy Moss had a step on the coverage, but batted at the line of scrimmage. And that is a side effect of having Michael Vick as your quarterback. He is not the tallest quarterback. His passes will be batted at the line of scrimmage occasionally. That defense coming into play for Turbo Jeff. We're going to see one of the rare runs. Spin move off the first hit, but that's going to be a loss in the end. Ricky Williams, one rush, negative three yards. Not the, not the best out. I wouldn't expect too many rushes from either of these guys. <laughs> they are both into the passing game. And I'll tell you what, Jeff, 
he told me that he is going to come out in this tight doubles and try to throw Allen off guard rather than come out in gun bunch. Because he said so many people are familiar with gun bunch and how to defend it. He feels like this will be a unique offense and Allen might struggle. Hill in motion from left to right. We'll see if he looks for him over the middle right there. No one said he's going to Julio Jones on that right hand side. And crossing patterns clearly catching the secondary off guard. And big first down for Turbo Jeff, his biggest game of the game so far. You'll see this a lot. A flat route underneath, a corner route over the top. It's the most popular concept just because it opens up so much of the field. You need to allocate so many resources to cover both defend or both offensive players. In the flat there finds Ricky Williams. And it's a nice yardage, an easy first down. And we're down to the nine yard line or so. This is going to be first and goal coming up for Turbo Jeff. So for the first time this game, he is really pressuring Allen. Yeah, Turbo Jeff is just working underneath right now. And once again, flat corner concepts. This time he goes underneath to Ricky Williams. Now, goal line offense gets kind of tight. A lot of times you will see an aggressive catch attempt to Randy Moss especially. Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe he tries to run the ball here on first down, get a couple of yards, make that throw easier. The last thing you want to do is turn over, of course, in the red zone. In a game like this already, hey, three points is feeling pretty good in itself. So he's going to run up the middle there and maybe get a yard again, playing it safe. I do think that that warrants, you know, do you agree with that? You know, play it somewhat safe in a 0 0 ball game? Well, running it on first down, if you get three to four yards, that will help make a potential throw in the end zone easier. You can even run it again. But getting a gain of one, now you start getting in a <laughs> sticky situation yeah. because we saw what happened to Allen. You know, Randy Moss had a defender in the area, could not come down with the catch, interception. Jeff's going to try to avoid the same fate. Here we go, second and goal from the eight yard line. It's only one from the previous run. It's one second on that clock. It's. This is going to be a delay of game, actually. So, <laughs> Jeff had no timeouts left. Yeah. And that is a little bit of inexperience on the big stage. <laughs> the clock management is one of the things that these professional Madden players pride themselves on. Mm -hmm. Some of them claim they have better clock management than NFL head coaches, but there, Jeff made <laughs> this second down and goal a lot tougher. It's easy to say that from the sideline. Don't say that. <laughs> Michael Vick, though, going back pressure to hit as he throws, but it's going to be caught in the end zone and touchdown Julio Jones Turbo Jeff he gets on the board first Julio Jones is doing work right now for Turbo Jeff post route in the middle of the field throw it to where only Julio Jones can catch it a tough catch at that but once again there's that aggressive catch and for a player that's very confident in his defense and Turbo Jeff that has to feel good right you know any kind of points in a game like this seem like it could take you a long way for Allen Playing against a guy like Turbo Jeff, like we mentioned at the top of the show, he labs with Kiv, he labs with Joe Rice, he labs with Mo, he labs with Crush. So if he can beat Turbo Jeff, that means that he is prepared for a run. But right now, his offense is looking a little bit shaky, and it's mainly from the pressure that Turbo Jeff is sending. That wasn't necessarily bad defense. That was just a heck of a catch there. <laughs> Julio Jones over the middle. That'll happen. That's why you spend the cap on a Julio Jones, yeah. so he can make that catch for you. Four seconds to go in the first quarter. Again, 7 nothing favoring Turbo Jeffs. So Allen, once again, his third possession here of the game. Rolling out to the right, getting out of pressure. He wants a deep pass, really deep. Tyreek Hill makes the catch down to the 11-yard line. One of the biggest games we've seen all between yesterday and today. But that'll be the end of the first quarter, just like that. So a big gain at the end for Allen. But Turbo Jeff does have the lead up 7 nothing over Allen. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Allen is known to be an aggressive passer. So I'm not surprised at all to see him take that shot downfield. There was not much space to throw that ball, but that was a perfect rack catch of Tyreek Hill. He'll follow it up with a run. Great spin move initially on the first take. Gets down to about the five, and it's called the six yard line, but second and five now. So he technically could get a first down if he gets to that one yard line. That could be important. And that's what you want to do on first down when you're running the ball in the red zone. Unlike what Jeff did earlier, of course, he got the catch anyway to Julio Jones. Now it's second down and five at the six yard line, and now a lot more room to play around with. Vic looking to the end zone, and he finds his man. Joe, that, that wasn't that was sharp, I believe. Comes down with the ball, but that is going to be a touchdown for Allen. So answers right away, man. I'll tell Three you plays what. Later, Jeff, I want to say. I'll tell you what, Jeff. You just got Moss. <laughs> but don't feel bad. Everybody gets Moss. Randy Moss let down Allen earlier, comes back for redemption. That was Randy Moss right there. Apologies. But kickoff here for Allen as we're tied now at seven apiece. And this one's not going to be returned. That seems to be something that uh, we have often throughout it. You take a look at the replay once again, as you mentioned. Randy Moss, that's a one-on-one. -on -one. That's what he likes, of course. Of course, of course. He high passes to Randy Moss. His catch radius is wider than most people. You will not see many kick returns, though. The newest patch 
If you sky kick the ball, it'll just fly pretty much in the back of the end zone. Yeah, like I said, that seems like it's been a trend between yesterday and now early on today. Turbo Jeff, ooh, that was that was a bit of an overthrow. You got you love the aggressive pass or the high pass, but that is the problem with it. It can lead to overthrows, and if you overthrow your receiver and the defenders in the area, that could be an interception. So you don't want to fall in love with the high pass. So Turbo Jeff maybe caught off guard from that quick reaction of Allen, feeling the pressure himself. And speaking of pressure, gets it, but a great one-handed pull in from Roberts. How the heck did he make that one? <laughs> well, just go back to the aggressive, or the high pass, aggressive catch. <laughs> Andre Roberts is a return specialist, but they're making a tough catch in traffic. Allen not afraid to bring that pressure, though, as we saw. But Turbo Jeff did a good job of reading into it. I feel like yesterday we saw a lot of coverage defense, a lot more than you expect from these guys. Today, both guys are sending the heat. As Ricky Williams in the backfield with him, Roberts in that motion to the right. And the drop back, not feeling much pressure this time around. In fact, finds Sharp, but as I mentioned earlier, that's one of those, if you're Allen, you, you'll take those passes. Yeah, a four pass, four yard pass underneath. But the main thing is he took that hit. And if you're putting the hit, that means you can force a fumble. And that will happen, as we saw yesterday. It's a hit stick that could come into play. And yeah, definitely those fumbles could really throw you off. So hoping for one there, not getting it. Second and six, though, will be for Turbo Jeff. We're tied a seven apiece, 338 to go here in the remaining first half. Turbo Jeff continues to stick with this tight doubles. He truly believes this is the answer to stop Allen. Oh, he just got that snap off. That was close. So had a delay game earlier. But this one, he probably wishes he had a delay game. Feeling pain now. And it's a down later, third and 14. It seems like he's doing a little bit too much pre-snap. He's trying to read the defense. He's trying to motion receivers. And then at the last second, cornerback blitz off the edge. He might have not seen that coming. Yeah, the, not the, the offensive line right there. <laughs> Nobody picking that up. That was a free way to the quarterback. And Allen took advantage. So third and 14. Vic steps back a very quick pass to Williams in the flat. That's not bound to get you much, and it doesn't. It seems like Turbo Jeff is not showing too much poise right now. And it comes back to what he's doing pre-snap. It seems like, especially now he's out of timeouts as well. He can't even lean back on that. Fourth down and nine. We will see. He will probably go for it, and he will, of course. Like I said, what's well, a punter? <laughs> if they do not exist, I swear. I don't think I've seen one. Well, maybe one. Actually. So Vic in that shotgun. Again, motion from left to right. The pressure's in his face, and he cannot get it off. Down at the 30. That's going to be a turnover on downs, and Allen will have fantastic field position. Still 2.36 to go here in the first half. That was a coverage sack more than anything else. Allen had blanket defense, maybe had the corner out, but also ran out of time with that pressure that Allen is sending. Yeah, take a look at that right there. Taylor getting that pressure and able to pick up a sack with his second one of the game for Allen Howard making a great spin move initially gain of about five in the flat but obviously he's feeling uh, feeling pretty good right now getting close down to the 25 yard line as we have a second and four coming up keep an eye on the clock turbo Jeff no timeouts Allen might try to slow this drive down and take this to the end of the first half fair point and it's back to back will not really run the previous play but this run actually breaks through and he's gonna go to the end zone Let's Jordan remember. Howard Almost there, oh. one yard short. But that was great patience by Allen. You saw Jordan Howard put his hand on his offensive lineman, trying to seek out the hole. That was Le'Veon Bell-esque, what he just did. Now, almost one of those cases, as you take a look at the replay, where he did get knocked out of bounds, so it does stop the clock now. So going back to what you were just talking about previously, not much you can do about that, though. Of course, you'll take that opening, almost scory. But it's going to be first and goal from the one. He has four ultimate chances here. He can take this down to the two-man warning if he wants to, but he tries to QB sneak it stuff. But that's okay. You'll QB sneak it on first down and go at the one-yard line. If it gets stopped again on second down, third down, then you get a little bit worried. That's like a mulligan right there. Yeah, like you said, it, it does take it down to the two-minute warning, though, and the, the clock is the friend of Allen right now where he doesn't mind time going off specifically with Turbo Jeff having no timeouts. But this time it's going to be tossed to the right. Howard, that's all the room in the world he needs, and a touchdown leaping in. Could be 14-7 in favor of Allen, pending the extra point. So now that he used the free mulligan, the QB sneak, he showed Jeff that he will QB sneak. Jeff has to respect that. That opens up the pitch. And all these players will have either QB sneak or pitch as an audible, so you can do one or the either pre-snap. Kickoff here, Allen. 14 unanswered points right now. You think Turbo Jeff is starting to feel it himself a little bit as far as the pressure goes? He has to be. He has to be because he got off to as good of a start as he 
possibly could have. Yeah. Allen was in trouble, but now Allen, look at him. He's locked in. The he, early he's... interception. <laughs> big for Turbo Jeff, but not feeling too good right now. We'll see how this drive looks. Again, last drive, a little bit questionable. He has a minute 58 remaining. No timeouts, as mentioned, though. Going to be using that sideline to his advantage. Send that cornerback, Woods. Has a lot of time over the middle, and Robert C. does not make the catch. No, he ends no, up no, no. Again. Not only was that not, a, it was almost a catch, but it was it was almost a catch for Allen defensively. A great user lurk. The catch to post route nearly came down at the interception. He'll take the incompletion. So second down now remaining. I wonder how much longer Turbo Jeff is going to stick with this tight doubles here. If it fails him this drive, he might have to switch. Few players really just going back to that same formation and a big rollout to the right, and he is just simply going to throw it out of bounds. It goes back to the coverage, hyping up Allen so much on his offense. His defense, though, it's it's looking pretty good here. Yeah, he is the real deal. You saw Turbo Jeff try to flood the right side underneath route over the top streak, and that'll catch a lot of zone defenses, open up some big plays, but there's just nothing open right now. And once again, a third down and long situation here. He's not making it any easier. Yeah, sticking to that same formation, though. This Turbo Jeff, an immediate pass to the left. Sharp has plenty more room this time around, and it's going to be a first down. I mentioned earlier, normally Allen's accepted of that, but this time around leaves him a little too open. Gets out of bounds, stops the clock, but man, he is throwing the ball very quickly on these third down and longs, checking it down underneath. That's how it worked. They got a first down, but. Man, I'm, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that, because if he tries that again, Allen might have someone there in a hard flat. Right, it's a play clock down to 14 seconds. Action clock has stopped a minute 41. 14-7 favoring Allen right now. Turbo Jeff would love to tie things up, though, going into the half. And in motion. There's a snap. Got a man on the left side. Julio Jones at the. No, it's not going to be caught, actually. Again, dropped. It's in at the sidelines, but just cannot pull it down. Oh, man. I feel like he got a little bit greedy right there trying to take that shot in the corner to Julio Jones. Might have to slant underneath. But you'll notice Allen has a quarterback spy, so Michael Vick will not be running. That's what Allen is saying right there. So Turbo Jeff having to figure out another way to go about it. Now, Turbo Jeff said he wanted to play ball control offense. This is his time to control the rest of the first half. As Jones, the big one-handed catch, an aggressive catch indeed. Throwing it into two-man coverage, but again, you have Julio Jones. You can take those chances. That high pass is coming through for Jeff more often than not, especially to Julio Jones. At this point of them, Allen, I'm thinking that Jeff really likes throwing to Julio Jones. Let me specifically try to take Julio Jones out the game plan, force him to throw it to someone else. So we got some possible pressure off the edge there for Allen. Gonna send Roberts out at least, but there is that pressure. Good pick up by Ricky Woods. It's gonna oh, be no. fumbled though as he tried to go for a pass. It looks like it's picked up, and that's a recovery for Allen. That's gotta feel not good for Turbo Jeff. <laughs> the good news, he picked up the cornerback Woods. The bad <laughs> news, the pressure came in anyways. Jason Taylor on the recovery. Ricky Williams just made a touchdown saving tackle. That true. could be big. Understandably, Turbo Jeff not happy with what happened right there, but at the same time, you're only down a touchdown right now. Got to hold him here, but it's not as like you said they're done. Howard trucking gets about nine yards as a result. Allen, he, of course, wants to score here going into the half. Have you noticed Allen's facial expression change at all so <laughs> no. far? He is just stone cold locked in. I love it. This kid is here to play some Madden and win. Nice cold in those veins right now. He is definitely feeling it. And he's looking for a score here once again. 40 seconds to go. He's going deep to the right-hand side. Howard, it's going to be picked off, though. A bit too greedy, just as we mentioned that. And Turbo Jeff still on his feet. Finally get taken out, but that's Allen at the same time, you know, going greedy. I'll tell you what. Allen lobbed that ball. Probably should have bulleted it. That gave enough time for Turbo Jeff to come through with Jamal Adams. But remember what we mentioned. Turbo Jeff, fast secondary, not going to try to give up the over-the-top plays. And there was Jamal Adams ready for that shot. Oh, it feels like the longest two minutes ever right now. Uh, 34 <laughs> seconds. No timeouts even being used, but back into the hands of Turbo Jeff. Roberts, a quick spin, but coverage is there for Allen. So the stop, and again, no timeout. So this is going to be running down. This game is there for the taking for either player. Both of these guys are making uncharacteristic mistakes. First time on the big stage. Kind of expected as time continues to wind, wind down here. 13 seconds. 
Turbo Jeff needs a big play right here and definitely needs to get out of bounds. He's, well, he's just going to run out of bounds, really. It looks like he threw the ball away there. Either way would have stopped the clock. At this point, nine seconds left. Maybe just run the ball into halftime right here. The last thing you want to do is turn the ball over. He just fumbled the ball at Michael Vick. So if Allen sends that heat again, you better make sure to throw that ball away. Yeah, I was going to say, it's one of those cases. I think the argument's there for Turbo Jeff with the way this game, the way this, it's finishing here in the first half. Honestly, be happy being down by seven. But <laughs> we'll see what he chooses to go with right here. Kind of four seconds on the play clock. It's going to be a pass. Here comes pressure. And the fades off the side. He cannot pick it up in time. It is going to be a sack. And, well, oh, look at that. Allen actually calling the timeout. Yeah, <laughs> force, force an issue on fourth down. What's the worst that happens here? Like, if you're Jeff, you got to punt this ball out of bounds. End the half. But... Man, uh, Jeff was playing with fire right there. Yeah. Got sacked, nearly fumbled the ball again. Punchers do exist, as we notice. This one's going to be punted out of bounds, though, and that'll do it for the first half. So Allen going to be up 14-7 over Turbo Jeff so far. Yeah, as far as uh, day number one, day number two, excuse me, kicking off with our first game. Speaking of that, let's take a look at the players' lounge and, of course, all the other players. Most of those played yesterday, of course, and uh, so some of those advancing on, you could say, but they're enjoying right now. I think it's pretty cool. You see that some of the players that actually didn't win are still in there, still yeah. kicking in with their boys, and that's just how tight-knit the community is. Take a look at the first half highlights. Of course, started off with this. Julio Jones catching into the end zone, and that was just a case of Turbo Jeff. That was after the interception that happened from Al. Turbo Jeff got off to a good start, but Allen, like we said, he stayed calm, kept his game face on, and, you know, this this really got him going, this deep on the Tyreek Hill. Yeah, that's, that, that's what was set in motion there for Allen, and again, Moss in the corner of the end zone, so tied it up just like that, and eventually tacks on one more. And then from here, it's all about defense for Allen, sending that pressure, and then you see this pitch to Ricky Williams, or Jordan Howard, touchdown, got him the lead. So 14-7, again, going to be our score from Allen. And I don't know, going. I didn't really ask you, but is, is this score surprising to you? Are we expecting a higher score or a lower score? Is this it? I wouldn't say the score is surprising, but more so how we got here. Just from the amount of turnovers we had, this is probably, I want to say, the sloppiest game we've seen so far. Uh, speaking of uh, this game right here, well, this, of course, there's another game going on, as always, here in the AFC West. Let's take a look. Rico, I believe, has some answers for us. Yeah, we had our second game with Pavin and War Daddy, and this was one of our more equally matched up games. We got a chance to see some up and down, back and forth action. And it all starts with Pavin. He likes to air it out, finds that deep ball up top, was not able to go ahead and get in, but he was able to maximize his possession and was put points on the board. That deep three, it's up and it's good. They know something about threes in the bank, but not to be outdone, that spin move, put him in a spin cycle, gets down again, picks up that first down. Pavin was moving the ball effectively and was able to use Shannon Sharp to get in the end zone, create a little bit of a cushion, but War Daddy kept fighting. You see Henry getting there, catching that ball, moving it, but he would not be outdone. Find Shannon Sharp of his own in the end zone to tighten that game up. That first half was real good. We're expecting to see another half just like it. Back to you guys. So both games proven to be pretty close here within a touchdown or so. That's, that's some exciting stuff here out of the AFC West. Keep your eye on Pavin. He lost to Problem last year. Of course, Problem not here anymore. His offense is lethal. He's another young kid. High-powered gun bunch offense. Showing it right here. And if Allen and Pavin match up in the round of 16, those two have a lot of experience playing against each other. I believe the players are just about ready to get things going for the second half of our game, of course, as Allen versus Turbo Jeff. So Allen up 14-7 to as we're going to start the third quarter. I believe it's Turbo Jeff will be receiving the start. So, of course, wanted to start off and uh, perhaps tie the scheme up. If there's ever a time for Turbo. Oh, it's like he's actually going to get the kick return off here with Jerry Alexander. And he's going to take it to about the 27-yard line. But if there's ever a time for Turbo Jeff to establish a ball control offense, this has to be the drive. It doesn't matter how you get seven points. You just need to get seven points here, whether it's one play or 20 plays. Sticking to that same formation. I know you mentioned that earlier, Cook, as far as uh, well, I'm going to see a change up. But Turbo Jeff, I suppose, only being down by seven. It's not like it's a blowout by any means. So still confident with it. This time he gets some great blocking up front. So he has all the time in the world, but it goes back to that secondary of Allen. It clearly is just causing too much troubles. The problem right now is the amount of pressure that Allen is sending. Turbo Jeff is forced to lead players into block. 
pretty much max protect here. He's only got three, maybe four in a route in most of these plays, and Allen is blanketing every single one of them. He's going to find a man on a hill. Tyreek Hill, the immediate spin move, and he's down to the 40, the 30. I don't know if they're going to be able to catch up to him. Of course, a fast man indeed, and that's going to be a touchdown for Turbo Jeff in the hands of Tyreek Hill. They do not call Tyreek Hill the cheetah because he is slow, but how about that spin move in the open field? Just what Turbo Jeff needed to get back into this game. You saw the reaction after the fact, too. Of course, he's excited, but not over the top. Knows that this is a tough game, and Knows what happened, of course, in that first half as well, but of course, feeling good. That only took not even really, just about, just over 15 seconds there. 18 we, seconds to be exact. We might see an offensive explosion in the second half. All the jitters were in the first half. This second half could be very exciting, very high scoring, and like you said, it took not even 20 seconds to get the party started. Yeah, for as much as we've been praising the secondary here for Allen, that one had that one-on-one -on -one coverage, and again, the great spin move initially from Turtle Jeff to run it all the way for the touchdown. So just like that, we're now tied at 14 early in the second half. Over to Allen with possession. Michael Vick, he's dropping back. He's got a man open deep. That is Tyree Kill for himself. And he makes, he does not make the catch. Just stepped out of bounds. Once again, that corner route is there for Allen. And for whatever reason, he just doesn't seem to be able to get both feet in bounds or can't get the throw in time. But it's continuously there, and he will continuously go to it. Second and 10. He's going to go across his body to Julio Jones, going across the field, and won't pick up a first down, but gets a gain of seven. You, you look at, or you hear Turbo Jeff right there mentioning he thinks that should have been an interception. Dangerous pass across the body. Michael Vick rolling to the right side. Of course, Michael Vick on lefty. So that's not the ideal play you want for Michael Vick. Still brings up a third down and three, so Allen will take it, of course. His own 32 yard line. Vick to Sharp. And it gets the first down, so not the prettiest of plays, but getting that first down, oh, that's the important thing for Allen to keep the, the chains moving. That's the great thing about having a third down and three rather than a third down and ten. One thing that Tom Brady and the Patriots do so great, you get to a third down and short, and that'll open every single route available, but nothing was available on that run. Oh, that was a heck of a blitz there coming out from Turbo Jeff, speaking of his defense, so immediately stops the run, and as we've also referred to earlier on, this is not a game we expected maybe much running to happen, and we haven't had much of it. Though Allen has had some success with Jordan Howard so far. That was really the first negative play he's had. That's true. In fact, one of his two middle. touchdowns. He is going over the middle. One-on-one -on -one coverage has Hill beating his man. Not going to get to the end zone, but down to about the two-yard line. Tyree Hill for both players coming through. It doesn't matter how fast your secondary is. Tyree Hill is faster than you. Turbo Jeff spent so much cap. He put times two sprinter on all of his players. And it just doesn't matter because Tyree Hill is that fast. <laughs> you see, it's like, what do I do, man? I, as you mentioned, I spent all this cap and still doesn't matter against Mr. Hill. So at the two-yard line, first and goal. Again, last thing you want to do is turn over. So we'll see if he plays a safe. I would expect a run here. I'm sure Turbo Jeff the same. It is, in fact, going to be run up the middle. Howard unable to find the hole, though. Good stuff there from Turbo Jeff, at least on first down. Great user defense by Turbo Jeff. And that is the key to run defense a lot of the times for these top players. Watch the user defender try to shoot the gap here if he runs it again. In motion once again pretty uh, similar play spins off the first hit but he cannot get in so now this is that spot of okay what do I go for now once again turbo Jeff shooting the gap but Jordan Howard is a bruising running back he sh shakes off the first tackle attempt and now since he got that one yard that opens up the QB sneak strong toss combination of goal line and it looks like he's going to that under two minutes remaining here in this third quarter in our tie ball game, 14 apiece. Power formation. It's going to be the hand up to the fullback. Sharp in this case, but he still cannot get in. Turbo Jeff saying no, no, no. Hurry up. Hurry up. It's going quick. It's going to be a sneak. Same play. It's going to be tossed to the right-hand side. Howard cuts up field, and he gets in. Allen, that's got to feel good. Fourth down, the hurry-up offense comes through. Touchdown after touchdown. <laughs> that took a lot of guts to call hurry up on fourth down. Allen had to be confident on the defensive look that Jeff gave. He said, okay, if that fullback dive wasn't there. The strong toss has to be there. Allen was right. Just see how stoic he is, too. Again, the reaction, he doesn't have any reactions, does <laughs> Allen. And that hurry up offense to the score. Oh, lateral. By the way, this is some tricky stuff coming out here. Oh, here and he goes. goes the hole. Are you kidding me? Breaks through. Talk about an immediate response right here. Turbo Jeff is going all the way for the touchdown. What? 
This might be the play of the tournament. A ladder won the kick return. What time is it? Prime time. The lights are flashing up in here. We have a 21 21 ball game. 127 to go in the third quarter. This is proven to live up to the hype in the sense of the match, at least. Both Allen and Turbo Jeff respond after one another. Allen was talking right there. I, I really thought our camera was frozen and Allen just wasn't moving or something. But here he was talking a little bit, him and Turbo Jeff. I, I can't get over this lateral. I have never seen this before in MCS. <laughs> I do this at home, but with the stakes on the line, wow, wow, wow. And then dion has got that speed to get away. $100,000 up for grabs for the first place finisher of this event. As you mentioned, you do that at home. You don't do that at an event like this, but uh, he Turbo Jeff did right there, and it came through big time. Deep Look shot, at deep shot. For the reaction. Moss makes the catch and gets down at about the third, or the, we'll call the 16 yard line. We had nothing but turnovers in the first half. We're about to have nothing but touchdowns in the second half. Randy Moss over the top. Once again, not only is Tyree Kill faster than all your defensive players, so is Randy Moss. So Allen not letting it phase him too much. As you mentioned, they were talking a bit back and forth after that previous touchdown here. So both players starting to feel it for good reason. Under and a that's probably reading. more friendly trash talk. These two have played a lot. They played a lot last year, so they respect each other. Vic, step back, finds a hole up the middle. He's going to run it, but not too far. The defense is right there to make the stop and gain of maybe a yard, second and nine from the 16. Quarterback spy on the field right there, so I'm surprised Allen attempted to take on the quarterback spy because there wasn't much hope for him to break that tackle. There's more hope for him to potentially fumble the ball. He really has to value this red zone possession here. This is a chance to get the lead, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown. 25 seconds and counting here in the third quarter in our 21-21 ball game. Allen second and nine. Moss motion to the right. He's looking left though, looking for Julio. It's a little too high this time around. Not often you say that with Julio Jones in the in play, but a great defensive play right there. But that was Jared Alexander on the outside. And I'm gonna go back to the point I made the last play. That Allen really needs to value this red zone trip because that was a tip ball. That could easily have been intercepted if a defender was in the area. It happened earlier. Oh, not one and a half flashbacks to that. Trips to the right. He's rolling to the right, and he finds Moss in the end zone, but again, he overthrows it. And we're going to have a fourth down coming up. Do you feel goal here? You, you have to. As much as you maybe want to go for it, situational football here, tournament life on the line, you've got to get the lead, and you have to trust that your defense can get a stop. It's an easier field goal, and that's a guaranteed three points early. So 24-21, Allen will be up. You can... It's a case of, yeah, you're not the, the most happy, but at the same time, you do have a lead now. That's a win for Jeff. That is completely a win for Jeff. Allen took the shot downfield to Moss, got it, and he locked up in the red zone. Any and lateral here? Oh, ooh. So yeah, barely goes. It's almost like he wanted to stop. <laughs> I, I, he might have been thinking about it right there. Still gets the ball to the 31-yard line. So he gets it out to the 31, as mentioned. First down. This should be our last play here of the third quarter. And it's only four seconds remaining, so a whole quarter ahead of us here. Turbo Jeff, plenty of time, all three timeouts for both players. Something tells me this is going to be a great finish ahead of us. Let's see if he tries to slow this drive down right here. <laughs> this has been a very high-paced third quarter. Let's see if he tries to slow this down to end of the fourth quarter. Nick, it's going to be a draw play as Ricky Williams takes the handoff, bounces off one, can't get much further, though. Too much of a cluster, and that is going to be the end of the third quarter as we have a 24-21 lead in favor of Allen, but Turbo Jeff with possession as we enter the fourth quarter. Guys, for a limited time, get the Madden NFL 19 Ultimate Super Bowl Edition. Load up your Mutt roster with one of five Super Bowl elite players, Dick Butkiss, Walter Payton, Daryl Green, Keyshawn Johnson, or Javon Kurse, plus an additional elite active Super Bowl player and gold team fantasy packs. Those are some great players. I'm just looking at them. I wish I could have all of them on my ultimate team. Daryl Green, one of the fastest players to ever play. Sweetness. Oh, baby. Going good there, but again, 24-21 lead. Start of the fourth quarter. Allen in the lead, but Turbo Jeff has possession. Second and five from his own 35. Here. He's got sharp in the left. We've seen that plenty. He loves that flat route, at least to get some yards. Third down and one, so he might try to run the ball here, get that first down. If he runs the ball, that is a telltale sign that he is looking to slow this game down. Maybe not make this the last drive of the game, but really just ball control, which is what he came into the game wanting to do. Let's talk about sticking to his guns right here and again, sticking to that formation. 
Not really running much bunch, as so many others have been. Sharp probably going underneath right here. Let's see if Allen allocates any resources to guarding Shannon Sharp. Sends Terry Kill in motion. Sharp under the right, but no, he goes for Jones over the middle, who makes a great catch. Oh. A spin up, breaks another tackle, the dive from Allen. It's not going to catch, and that should go all the That's way. Really Touchdown. Yeah, Turbo Jeff. He'll take it. Wow. Julio Jones, grown man strained. How about that? To get the lead in the fourth quarter, breaking multiple tackles. Julio Jones continues to come through for Turbo Jeff, and Julio turboed all the way to the end zone. I saw Allen over there. He just had a little bit of a smirk on his face, like, I, you know, what can you do about that? Sometimes those plays aren't going to happen. He's probably said, no, I'm probably just going to score a touchdown. <laughs> we'll see. He gets a return out of the end zone. You can left, right, but oh man, he is hit hard at about his 21. So good stop there from Turbo Jeff. But yeah, you see the replay. Look at this aggressiveness by Jones. Bouncing off one, two, three. Gets another falls over his own man. <laughs> oh, boy. And, yeah, you'll see Allen's reaction right here. Huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. That, that's how I would. If that was me, I think my controller would have been Gronk spiked to the ground. But Allen is poised. Yeah, he's still in it to win it, that's for sure. Down by four. They'll just simply throw it to the stands there. We're going to get a timeout call, in fact. Wow. Okay. Not sure about that. <laughs> and the you know, I was saying that you don't get to keep your timeouts going to halftime in the first half. The second half, whole different story. In a one possession game, yeah. you do not want to burn your timeouts, especially on first half like that. That seemed a little odd right there. Almost, dare I say, a misclick. But either way, it's going to be the shotgun. Has sharp on the right hand side. Breaks one tackle, but immediately hit. And we have a third and seven now. It's so only a game of three. So one thing I've noticed that Turbo Jeff is doing is he is not giving Michael Vick the left side rollout. Michael Vick, left hand quarterback, you want to roll to that left side. Turbo Jeff is doing whatever he can to make sure that does not happen. 3.59 remaining. Clock's going to start counting down here in the fourth quarter. Again, 28-24 lead for Turbo Jeff. As that trips to the right. It's going to be a pass all the way. Rolling out to the right. Has a man in his face. He throws it going deep. 2-on-1 coverage. But Tyreek Hill he got comes it. through. Yeah, down to the 23. He, he and Turbo no Jeff answer. only can he do is just no say, answer. are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Hey, man, poor Turbo Jeff. He really thought that this was the game plan. I'm going to get speed. I'm going to put double sprint on everybody. Tyreek Hill's not going to go over the top. Well, eh, He's going over again. the top. <laughs> it's going to happen again and again and again. But these are just perfect passes from Allen where only the receiver can get it. Rack catch, making the right decision. That, that is not an easy play to make. I don't care who wins this game. The MVP within the game is Tyreek Hill. Michael Shout out to Julio Vick. Jones in the corner. High Boss pass. This is a little too high right there. Yeah, you see that from you saw it from Allen in the previous drive. These high passes are sailing on him. There's a very tight window to throw that ball to, and sometimes it's just up to whether Michael Vick can make that throw or not. And Michael Vick, as good as he is running the ball, throwing the ball, sometimes he will leave something to be desired. Second and ten, 341 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Of course, clock stop in there. It's going to the same exact play. Oh, smack down at the 32. That's a big loss. Loss of eight yards even. Huge loss because this is most likely four down territory down by four. The field goal doesn't do much. You do not want the field goal. So let's see if maybe Allen tries to take an underneath route here on third down and long, make it a fourth down and manageable. As that trip set to the left, running back right next to him. Got stuck on the line. No, he goes really no, back. He no, throws it deep no, to Moss, no. but you can just hear the... The nose coming out immediately. I mean, Turbo Jeff knew that that was not happening, and that's going to be fourth and 18. So he wanted the big yards. He didn't get it, Cook. In this situation, you've got to take the field goal. Fourth down and 18. <laughs> you could go for it here. <laughs> but once again, you, have, you just need one defensive stop. Allen continuously tried to highball that ball in the corner, and Michael Vick just could not put it on the money for him. As but, you mentioned, though, Allen needs that stop, and that's been tough to happen in the second half. He finally gets this one out the end zone here. Turbo Jeff was really getting sticky on those kick returns, so he'll be starting at the 25-yard line. 3-12 remaining. So Allen also using that timeout earlier. Uh, we'll keep an eye if that comes into play. In a game like this, it could. You read my mind. As Turbo Jeff tries to chew down this clock, Allen has one less timeout in his arsenal. Vic out of shotgun, immediate handoff. Draw play there, really, but yeah, big hit. Ooh, Jamal Adams laying the wood. Watch out. <laughs> That's a pretty good run stop. And once again, those user defenders, they're going to shoot that gap. And, you know, if all of this just looks so easy, but it's just so much precision. You have to be pinpoint. You'll see them twitching around at the line with the user defender. And, of course, they're going to use a fast guy like Jamal Adams so they can come through ASAP. 
Hoping for that fumble there, didn't get it, but second and eight coming up for Turbo Jeff now. And his, uh, the clock, he doesn't mind it running down. Gotta get this off, gotta get this off. Yeah, you gotta get off, though, exactly, down to one second. He's looking over the middle, too high, though, to Julio there. Man, these, oh. these high passes. I, we already saw one goal already for Allen, and another one might happen soon. And it's the same pass that he overthrew earlier right there. It's not too open, so you don't want to fall in love with it. Third down and eight. Man, does Allen need this. Talk about a huge play right here for both sides. It's going to be immediate pass to the left. He's loving that, but this one's dropped, and now big question time for Turbo Jeff. Fourth and eight from his own 27, up by one. There it was again, I told you. Sharp underneath, he throws it every single time on third down and long. Yeah. Like maybe wait for something else to open up because Allen's not going to give that up all day. Now fourth down and eight from his own 27. If he doesn't get this, Allen's in field goal range to take the lead yeah, immediately. Yeah, th this seems like one of those. The punt is very worth to talk about, but Turbo Jeff, punt. he What's doesn't a punt? punt. <laughs> he's lucky and he's got plenty of time. The most he's had all day, he's going deep to Jones. That's that's too much pressure though. Did he catch Wait, it? He, he, caught, he it. caught it. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I thought for sure that was out of bounds. Even Allen cannot believe it. Down to the 42, a first down for Turbo Jeff. Julio Jones is earning his salary cap paycheck right now. My lord. You can see Allen spinning in his chair. <laughs> that, <laughs> that shot is not frozen, ladies and gentlemen. He is moving. Oh, man. He did go out of bounds to stop the clock, though. So he'll probably try to run the ball here, take this in two minute warning. Maybe before Allen call timeouts. Gonna be a handoff to Williams and Deeds. Going for that run as mentioned. Great spin move. Gets him a couple more yards. Great but there's that move. timeout coming out from Allen. So this is extra important because obviously he has a two-minute warning coming up too. But if he does not stop a first down right here, Man. it could be getting dangerous. That timeout that Allen coughed up yep. earlier, I, he might be regretting it right now. Oh, yeah. Same time, there's still game left. Can't think about it. Got to move on. Second and four at the 36. It's going to be yet another handoff, but this time Allen's there for the stop. Maybe a gain of a yard, the immediate timeout, and third and five now. Great run defense, and this is borderline field goal range for Dan Bailey. So even if it's an incompletion, it's going to be close to see if he can make this field goal. And the last thing you want to do is get sacked out of field goal range. Hey, let's go. Eagle, eagle. Let's see if he tries to go, passing players. the ball here. Once again, Sharp's going to be underneath. Allen has to know that. Julio Jones has been on a post a lot in this situation. Allen has to know that. Take away those two options. Let's see what else he has to work with. Let him beat you with something else, if anything. He's bringing the pressure up the middle. It's going to be Hill with the catch, though. Gets the first down. And the clock is still counting down. We're going to go down to the two-minute warning right here. No timeouts. That likely could even be game. It went. He play clock in salary cap in ultimate team. It's that's 30 huge. seconds, so that's not game over. But man, 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 does that hurt. And Allen took away the post. He took away the sharp. Turbo Jeff, I like that he had a not just a backup option, a third option. He was one step ahead, and that might help him secure the bag today. Well, Turbo Jeff, you got to think it's just going to be run from here on out. <laughs> He's got to keep that clock moving. Yeah. No reason to get an incompletion here. He's still will be in shotgun, but Ricky Williams in that backfield with him. And sure enough, it is going to be a handoff, so not going to get many yards, but he's not playing for yards right now. He's playing for that clock. The spin he's move continues it. to make this maybe a second down 10, so it's a second down and seven. So good run stick by Jeff right here. And let's see if he could take away this. One more first down. Should end the game right here. But I'm going to tell you, if Jeff runs this ball, I might just walk off the stage. Or if he passes the ball. <laughs> I was going to say. I mean, he has to run the ball. Yeah, yeah. It seems like a, a pretty obvious run play right here. And again, just to keep that clock moving. We might see a run commit. He's going to actually get a delay game as a result of this. So, I mean, he'll move back five yards, which when it comes to kicking the field goal is going to play a role. Turbo Jeff. Come on, man. A delay of game in this situation. You can't do that. You cannot do that. I mean, we're chewing clock, but what? Second one of the game right there. Bounces off the first hit, and Ricky Williams coming through there. Ricky Looks Williams. Like a big gain down to the 27. Third down and six. Got to run the ball again in this situation. So we will most likely see Jeff take a field goal here. Jeff make it a four-point game. Allen's going to have maybe 20 seconds to play with right here. Not much time. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. Minute 02 remaining right now. And it's still counting, of course. 
favoring Turbo Jeff. He's, He's still sticking to, right. to this formation here. I guess trying to give him the threat of the pass. Sends the man in motion, and it is going to be the handoff, though. Keep for the first down. That's what matters, and he does. Great open field tackle to secure the game just for now for Allen. Just give him that hope right there. Ricky Williams has been breaking those tackles one-on-one. -on -one. So Turbo Jeff might actually take this clock all the way down. Here, taking the delay game penalty would actually be a good idea for Turbo Jeff. You just take away every second possible. He might call a timeout one second left here, but you got to drip that thing all the way down. Allen understandably disappointed right now. It is going to be a field goal attempt. The point is, though, he still is in it. He's going to have time left on the clock. I'm going to see a hold here all the way to the very end. We left and a couple of seconds. We left a couple of seconds on the board right there. But, man, for Allen, this would be tough. Everybody talks about his offense. His defense might have let him down right here. What a game we've had today, though. 31 to 27. This, this second half has been just yeah. full of fireworks, full of deep shots downfield, and we got a squib kick. We got a squib kick indeed picked up, and he immediately gets down realizing, yeah, he doesn't want to waste much time right there, only a couple of seconds. So it'll be 13 seconds remaining from his own 38 down by four. So if Allen can get potentially a deep corner route, as we've seen him throw a lot today, maybe a gain of 25, a gain of 30, that will give you a chance to get not even a Hail Mary. Some guys, they have plays for those situations from about 40 yards out. Bunch to the right. Big step back. Not much pressure. He's finding his man over the middle. And Julio Jones, That's no game. timeout, That's so. Game. That's game. You going over the middle, yeah. You can't get the snap off. You need at least six seconds, maybe seven to get the snap off. Five seconds, this is game over. He's running up and, you know, he's spamming the button, but you can only do so much. As you mentioned, Cook, that's it. So throws it over the middle. It doesn't give himself really the best shot in the end, but Turbo Jeff with the victory, 31-27 here. I go back personally to that one catch by Julio Jones. It didn't even look like a catch. <laughs> Apparently he did. There were just so many big plays. But especially, I mean, you can just say Julio Jones, period. Yeah. Julio Jones time and time again came through for Jeff. And what a statement by Jeff, by Kiv, by Crush, by Joe Rice, this whole crew, and Mo. They went four for five, and they could run the tables. So, Alan, so much hype about him going into this event for good, great reason again. This, this guy has a bright future ahead of him. Only 16 years old, as we talk about, defeated problem to get here. The road is going to end here for him in the round of 32, but still expect plenty more out of him moving forward, of course. This is not the last time you guys see. We'll see Alan, all right? I, I will guarantee we will see Alan back on the big stage, and he will use the experience he learned here to get better. Yeah, let's take a look at the highlights, though, of this game. Here's Turbo Jeff deserving victory early on. Again, he got that touchdown. Uh, the, the interception that was thrown by Allen, he capitalized, but it was Allen that came through with the response. You see, this is his first score, again, a Moss in the end zone, and eventually made it 14-7 going into the half. A lot of turnovers in the first half, sloppy game. The last two minutes, as you said, it seemed like it took an eternity with all the, you know, fumbles and all of that, but this really got the third quarter kicked off here. This Tyreek Hill spin move, 7-14 to at the time, and the scoreboard just lit up. Yeah, we're taking a look at these most satisfying plays presented by Snickers, of course. I want to see that lateral to Deion Sanders. That was, that might be the play of the tournament so far. Like, spoiler alert, <laughs> it's coming eventually. Obviously a deep pass right there, but yeah, talk about just so many big plays throughout this game that you can recall. Fourth down and goal, that was a risky decision. He ran hurry up and got it, but then that set up. This is my favorite play right here. Yeah, not one we see often in an event like this, but perhaps, you know, in the long run, the game winning play, the immediate score on the return. Jeff had a lot of big plays. You guys saw the Tyreek Hill spin move, the Deion Sanders lateral kick return. It was prime time, and this was the biggest of them all. Julio Jones, a wrecking force right there. He Gets came the in zone. like a wrecking ball uh, and wrecked Allen's chances of winning the Madden Club Championship. I'm glad you did that and not me. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Of course, uh, the excitement there in the end. And again, so much hype about Allen, but Turbo Jeff deserving all the credit at the at the other side of it, right? This is a player, again, he had to deal with uh, Drini before and the Broncos, but now he's playing for the Cowboys. But in the end, it is a victory for, Tur uh, for Turbo Jeff. But Cookie Boy, what do, what do you got? Turbo Jeff just said, put some respect on my name. Because everybody was talking about Allen. No one was talking about Turbo Jeff. Well, Turbo Jeff's a great player. Turbo Jeff played some defense. Played some ball control at the end, took away the rest of the clock. 
and he's setting himself up for potentially a big run. All right, now this wasn't the only game going on right now, of course, and also the players hanging out behind the scenes. Rico, I believe you're back there with them. Yes, 